truth and his strength stretches its arms towards perfection. But the clear stream of reason has not lost its way in the dirty desert sand of dead habit, where the mind is led forward by thee into ever widening thought and action. Into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my country awaken. Thank you, Abhirami. It's indeed a pleasure to see our Jantian family together. And we would I and we would like to welcome all of you to this meeting. I invite Kumari Vashini to accord welcome. A very warm good morning to one and all. I deem it a great precious to welcome everyone gathered here for celebrating 75th National Independence Day. It is honored to have Reverend Father John Italian, Director, Christo Jayanti, CMI Public School, admin, administrate us on this joyful, organize it and huge precious for us to welcome Father to this association event. Welcome Father. Next, I would like to welcome our beloved principal, Father Philip Joseph. Uh, CMI Father is the central pillow of the school and the always, always guide in the school, guide in the school in, in the path of success. Father is a modified prod who, who always leads us leads in the path of rightness and I am excitedly pleased to welcome Father to this, this event. Welcome Father. I extreme, I extreme warm and welcome to all these teaching, teaching formalities of Christo Jayanti CMI Public School to this event. You had, your hard work and confidence serves out sportage on this elegant coach in this maximum that drives us sports supports in this drives us. Welcome. 
welcome teachers i also extend my i also extend my welcome to all the peers of communication event on once again i did very everyone general welcome thank you Thank you, Harshini. On behalf of everyone gathered here, I welcome you too. Being the children of India, we each year on this day we unfold hues of saffron, pure white, and divine green with salutes and tribute. Passed back, it was on this day of 1947 that the Indian independence, along with its go government, came into being, unrolling the Indian tricolour in the nation's capital. Our leaders made beautiful memories of vibrant, radiating love for the nation. Now, let's stand respectfully as the tricolour flag is being raised up. As father does love the children very much, and that will be a great boost for our children also. So he has got a lot of uh, fatherly concern and also a lot of experience that will definitely help us to uh, lead our children uh, in various uh, positive way. So dear father, come on, we welcome you on behalf of this uh, small uh, community here assembled.
जनगण मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नाम जागे तव शुभ आशीष मांगे गाहे तव जय गाधा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे Patriotic songs set of feet marching for India, and it connects us with a sense of shared belongingness. They also bring out the responsibilities that we have to the country as its skill. Now, let's listen to one of it and fill our hearts with joy. Super love. 
Now, I invite Mr. Sandra Maria Sibi to introduce Reverend Dr. Father John Ataniel CMI. Today, we have a distinct guest from us. Father is a new member of our small Jensen family, and it's my great privilege to introduce Father to everyone present here. Dr. John Ataniel. Director of Krishna Jayanti CMI Public School has a doctorate in theology. Father is widely learned and has completed his education from Louvain University, Belgium. Father has also handled many important responsibilities in the history of CMI congregation. Father was a circulation manager of Malayalam Daily Deepika and the director of Darshana Cultural Center, Kotayam. Father was also the director of International Book Fair, Kotayam. Father has also served as a professor in a seminary in Bhopal and also in Namibia, Southern Africa. Now, I welcome Father for the message.
respect it and my dear students and parents of krist jayanti cmi public school i wish all of you a happy independence day i thank father philip and the celebration committee of the independence day today to invite me to be the chief guest of today's celebrations i consider it as a privilege and i am proud to be a part of this great institution our krist jayanti school cmi public school we are celebrating with all indians the 75th years of uh, the independence of our motherland india we are proud to be citizens of free india we are all of us born in uh, indi independent india as we you know this is possible only because so many freedom fighters so many other people who selflessly worked for the independence of india we are now enjoying the fruit of their sacrifice their tireless work and their love for their country today it is our duty to do the same for the future of a great india we are all proud to be indians because we see that india is a unity in diversity we have different religions we have different cultures we have different languages once our late uh, president abdul kalam was invited to a program to lit a lamp he went to near to the lamp and took a candle in his hand and he uh, lit it the uh, he lit the lamp and said i am a muslim lighting a hindu lamp with a christian uh, lamp dear brothers and sisters as we know that we are the unity of india in our way of living and the way we share with each other and relate with each other we are all brothers and sisters one people one nation working together for a common aim the progress success and uh, the prosperity of our land it uh, all our compatriots we know that the independent india is a, a gift of people's hard work as citizens of this nation we have to be happy 
and proud of our citizenship. And we have strived hard for unity of India. Even though it is a difficult task, we have to do it with the diligence and responsibility. Our real potentialities and powers are to be brought to, for, uh, to the fourth whenever there are the difficulties in our life are not a d danger for us. They are not uh, distracting us, but helping us to take forward our hidden capacities and uh, nature to be coming for to come forth to help others freedom cannot be bestowed but it must be achieved says a american writer elbert husbart freedom and independence which we enjoy today is achieved through nonviolent selfless hard work of several people thousands of thousands of indians had given up their life fighting for indian independence and for freedom several people's hard work many people many trials worked for the progress and growth of our country we are enjoying the fruit of our sacrifice today. Now it is our turn to continue and keeping the precious gift of India a unity of difference. And a unity of life with the progress and prosperity. Independent Day celebration is one of the rarest occasion which the whole na nation resonates with a, a spirit of nationalism, a spirit of patriotism, and it is an occasion we celebrate the achievements of our nation. Today we remember the freedom fighters like uh, Mahalma Gandhi, our father of the nation, Jawaharlal Nehru, our first prime minister, Sardar Vallabhai Patel, the artisan of our unity, Subhash Chandra Bose, who is, uh, encouraged to fight for freedom, B. R. Ambedkar, the father of our constitution, Ravindranath Chagor, a poetic envisager, visionary of India. The women like Rani of Jansi, Bhigam Hasan Mukhal, Sarojini Naidu, and other numerous ordinary men and women worked for our independence. They were people who never hesitated to share their time, their energy, their life for the nation. They challenge us for the same. Let us do the same for our nation. Let me conclude this message with a short story. Once a young lady visited a crowded mall for shopping. When she got tired, she approached a, a snack bar and brought some snacks from there and uh, so orange juice. She carried it uh, in a mall box with the snack and looked for a place to sit. She seated herself 
where there was a man sitting in a bench and a desk. There, there she was uh, hastily surfing her uh, phone, smartphone, and the man was sitting there beside. He slowly drew a box, was near to her, and took the biscuits from there and began to eat. She looked at him that he was taking the biscuit from her uh, box. And then she immediately took it near to her and she also took one. After that, the man again take the box near to him and uh, shared another biscuit. And when the all biscuits were finished but one, the man broke that biscuit and shared half of it to the lady. After some time, the man left the place without thanking her. She thought that this man is taking my uh, box and which I bought for me, even without thanking me, he laughed what type of a man he is. And uh, after some time, he, she finished her surfing of the phone and she wanted to take his, her, she wanted to take her back and she took her back and then only she found that it was not he, but it was she who was uh, stealing the biscuit of the man. Her box was intact there. Dear children and dear teachers, often we may misunderstand that other people are exploiting our time, our energy, and our services. So we, when others are correcting us and when others encourage us to do things, to work hard, we may be thinking that it is for their advantage. They are taking uh, advantage from us, from our ser services. But only at the end we will realize that it was all for our favor and for our goodness that these people were working and what our hard work was actually a great achievement a achievement a great achievement not only for us but for the whole nation when we celebrate the this diamond jubilee of our independence from british rule and foreign rule let us also take the oath to be people who are always ready to work hard to keep our independence intact, grow, and to prosper our nation, our motherland, so that every Indian live uh, with the dignity, with the prosperity, with the happiness. So I thank all of you for your patience, hearing Jay Hind. Thank you, Father, for the wonderful message. It's on this day India got its independence back from the shackles of British rule. Now, let's watch a beautiful video presentation to understand and remember the <clears throat> understand and remember the struggles and hardships our freedom fighters underwent to make India free again.
Long years ago, we made a tryst with destiny. And now that time comes when we shall redeem our pledge. Not wholly or in full measure, but very substantially. At the stroke of the midnight hour, when the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. 15th August, 1947. Midnight. India awakes to a new life of freedom. But two centuries of colonial rule had decayed India from within, leaving the country ridden with poverty and hunger. Our founding fathers set out to wipe every tear from every eye. They needed a pole star, that single focal point to make India modern and progressive. Something that captured the uniqueness of the chaotic but eternally hopeful nation. A bright light to illuminate the dark storm lashing the horizon of the future. The 1920s was an uncertain period for the Indian national movement. And then came the Chauri Chaura incident. Mahatma had suspended the non-cooperation movement. 3rd February 1928. The Simon Commission arrives to review the Act of 1919 and was met with widespread protests as it had no Indian representation. The British, in their arrogance, proclaimed that Indians were incapable of self-rule and deciding for themselves. Lord Birkenhead, the Secretary of State, in response to the Indians' reactions, laid down a challenge at the House of Lords. The Founding Fathers rose to the occasion. An all-party conference was convened in February and May 1928. Led by Nehru, the committee drafted the Nehru Report in September 1929, demanding self-government under dominion status within the empire. But Kaide Azam, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, rejected the report, stating that from then on, Hindu and Muslim paths were different. He further countered the report with his infamous 14 points in March 1929. Meanwhile, the annual session of the INC was held in Lahore in 1929 under the presidency of Jawaharlal Nehru. They voted for the historic resolution of complete independence and declared the last Sunday of January 1930 as Independence Day. The resolution gave the British Parliament the ultimatum that if they accepted the report by 31st December 1929, Congress would adopt it as it is. If not, they would insist on complete independence. December 31st, 1929, the INC stalwarts gather around the River Ravi. The British have paid no heed to the ultimatum and thus the Swaraj flag is proudly unfurled. The freedom fighters were prepared for the fight. It was an event so monumental, it would change the course of history itself. Elections were held in 1937. INC came into power and formed ministries in almost all provinces. For the first time under British rule, Indians could become directly associated with the government. The dream of Indians holding the power of the government and serving the masses had become a reality. But the cheer didn't last long. World War II was initiated. Congress ministries resigned in 1939, protesting Lindhid Goh's decision to involve India in the war without consulting the Indians. Multiple attempts of involving India in World War II failed. With its end, the decline of the British Empire became inevitable. Mutiny amongst the naval rankings and the Air Force was the final nail in the coffin. The Cabinet Mission Plan arrived in 1946 to try and reach a settlement acceptable to all major stakeholders. The plan became the foundation for the establishment of the Constituent Assembly. For a total of two years, 11 months and 18 days, over 11 sessions and sitting for 166 days, the Assembly debated and discussed the various challenges facing the new nation. The ideas of liberty, equality, fraternity and justice were embedded deep into our constitution. On 26 January 1950, the constitution was enforced in its entirety. It is the foundation of free India which we have become so accustomed to. It is our duty as citizens to know it, understand it, nurture it and defend it. It is our duty to remember so that we can build the India of our dreams. Freedom is never voluntarily given by the oppressor. It must be demanded by the oppressed. Martin Luther King Jr. Now, I invite Abhinav Anish for the Independence Day speech.
the sword of revolution sharpen on the waiting stone of idea good morning all honorable guests worthy principal respected teachers and fellow students happy independence day to all of you today we all are here to acknowledge our privilege of being born in a free india and celebrate the 75th independence day of our country we need to ask those who born before 1947 to know the pangs and anguish of being enslaved under a colonial rule for every indian in those days it was a herculean task to fight against those powerful giants the british those difficult times and struggles must not be allowed to fade away from our memories hence every independence day we not only celebrate our freedom but we also pay tribute to the one who fought for it to the one who held the vision for our country and to the one who sacrificed themselves for the same the idea of being an independent nation where sovereign power lies with us to determine our future place a huge responsibility on our shoulders this day is a plethora of emotion it reminds us of the pain of being enslaved of the strength in unity it defines sacrifice it gives us an example that some wars can be won with non violence and of all the things it makes us value and cherish the freedom that we have today it is our own responsibility as proud citizens of this country to sincerely perform our duty and progress together for the growth and development of our country keeping the sacrifice of our ancestors in mind we should take an oath to carve a better future for our motherland jai india the freedom we are looking for is the freedom uh, to be ourselves uh, ourselves and the secret to this freedom is courage now we are moving to the most exciting part of today's program let's sit back and enjoy our telly feeling
Now, let's watch the videos of fancy dress competition of our friends. Thank you all for your participation. Now, I welcome our beloved principal to announce the winners of Fancy Dress Competition. Good morning, Dantians. Before announcing the results of the Fancy Dress Competitions conducted in connection with the 75th Independence Day celebration, I would like to congratulate all the students who participated in the competition. That is the real spirit. 
rather than winning in the competition it is the spirit of taking part that we appreciate and the effort uh, you have taken with the help of your parents that is quite awesome and marvelous and uh, here i am to announce the result of the fan citrus competition the grade wise a grade one uh, first prize goes to pavish tp grade two Jibin George, Grade 3, Kusumida B, Grade 4, Manushri, Grade 5, Dhanushri and Sajini, Grade 6, Pariksh, Pradiksha PB, Grade 7, Punit Gauda, and Grade 8, Chandan and Chandana. These are the winners of the fine citrus competitions and on this uh, glorious occasion let me appreciate the efforts has taken by our beloved teachers administrative staff uh, for arranging this online uh, independence day celebrations we got a lot of limitations as we know because uh, uh, because of the network issues and also some are watching from home, some are sitting in the school and the guests are also in somewhere. So we don't have a harmonious celebration, but in spite of uh, all these limitations and shortcomings, we tried our level best to uh, inculcate the spirit of patriotism uh, during this uh, most beautiful day of our country. Uh, be proud of be an Indian, uh, be proud of be an Indian citizen. That is the message that we got from our chief guest. And uh, though it's a Sunday and the teachers who are, uh, who have got only one or two days in a week to spend oh, as a leisure time, but uh, leaving all this uh, leisure and their personal time, they came over here uh, and to take the leadership of uh, arranging everything and uh, planning everything and also recording, especially the, the telefilm and also other things. So I do congratulate and appreciate all the teachers uh, who have uh, taken uh, the efforts of uh, now making this uh, event a memorable one. I also thank the parents who came out here today, though uh, you, came from far and wide uh, that appreciate the spirit that you have shown and also the students who present in the school uh, they are really elected students we know uh, that they have got a lot of responsibility to carry on in the future days and i also thank all the parents and students who are uh, participating online uh, in this program though it is a sunday as i mentioned it's a holiday and uh, I know that many of you have the interest and tendency to sleep more on Sundays, but leaving all the personal comfort and interest, uh, you are live online uh, to be part of this celebration. So thank you. And once again, I wish you all the best and also the greetings of a great event, the 75th Independence Day of our nation, our mother India. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Now, I, I would like to welcome Kumari Pratiksha PD for the vote of thanks. A very warm good morning to one and all present here. I am indeed honored and fortunate to have the opportunity to propose vote of thanks on this special occasion. I extend my bouquet of gratitude to our chief guest, Reverend Dr. Father John Etaniel, for making this event joyful through his presence and for sharing the Independence Day message with us. Thank you, Father. I extend my deep sense of gratitude to our dynamic principal, Reverend Father Philip Joseph CMI, for giving this opportunity and for supporting us in all our endeavors. Thank you for being our central pillar and for being our guiding light. Thank you, Father. I would like to use this opportunity to thank our helping hands, the teachers, 
for assisting us in all our needs. Your constant effort made this event colorful and vibrant. We are grateful for your love, care and support. Thank you teachers. I also thank my fellow students for your participation and cooperation. Thank you. I once again thank one and all present here. Thank you. Thank you, Pratiksha. Here is the end of our official meeting. Now, I would like to invite Chandra ma'am to give the instructions regarding the competitions. Thank you everyone for your cooperation and participation. Now, I would like to remind the students that, as mentioned earlier, there will be a quiz competition today and the quizzes will be shared to the class groups at 10 o'clock. Thank you. Now, the assembly is dispersed. All of you can leave the meeting.